Well, tongues wag over time in the village of Delphi and all the way down to the port in Kira. When? Oops. Gaia gets herself pregnant by the Komodo dragon. Well, nine months later, they're so remote, nobody knows but them, huh? Nine months later, what happens? Ooh. Gaia gives birth to a half male Komodo dragon and a half female human? We're talking an inner species train wreck. You know, the Greeks are good at this. You ever heard of a, 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 a centaur? Centaur? You stick a human head on a horse and you call that a body-mind integration? Centaur? Yeah. And the child is called Python. These Greek stories, huh? All these names, Gaia, Python, you see? This is the rootsy real deal here. And what does this cruel hybrid monster do? His first act on earth is to devour his parents? Bye, Mom. And hey, who's your daddy? <laughs> Python, the original creator eater. Belches after chomping down mom and dad way too fast. You know. Nevertheless, the python, he's still hungry as hell. And nobody's home. He's headed for Delphi to fill up on Greek peasant villagers. Well, at last, Mount Olympus gods and goddesses blow their top. God damn it. Yeah, on that uh, Mount Olympus Zeus scene up there. Mm -hmm. First, they had to deal with whacked out Persephone. You heard all about that, huh? Yeah. And now this trans species freak show train wreck. Psycho terror creature on the prowl. So Zeus sends Apollo, you know, to clean up this thing, the scene here. Mm -hmm. And he wants Apollo to stalk and destroy Python. Just, just, let's get this out of the Greek scene. Yeah. Uh. So Apollo swims from Crete in the form of a dolphin. Mm -hmm. And when he arrives at the western entrance of the Gulf of Corinth, it's the only entrance. It's a gulf. Three sides land, one side like you can get in by water. He's a dolphin. So he just does like a backflip out of the water with a one and a half spinner twist. Why? Just for the fun of it. <laughs> well, uh, he comes ashore, uh, ashore at the port in Cairo and he transforms into a beautiful Gay man. You know what? The fact that in the Greek language, Delphi means dolphin makes you really wonder what the hell was going on back then. Ancient Greece. Stud Muffin. <laughs> Apollo bounds through Delphi village and to the lar 
of Python by the Fiedrus rocks next to the Castilian Spring down the Papafiti Gorge going down all the way to <laughs> Ah Kira. Yeah, he gets there. And with three arrows from his hunting bow, he slays Python. Half Komodo dragon, half human. Gone. Apollo, huh? You can see why he took over the ancient world. Well, yeah, he's disgusted. He was so disgusted by this genealogical, barbaric freak show. Well, there's the dead coma. He burns down the shack. Just torch it off. Get rid of it. And at this pivotal patriarchal takeover moment from the matriarchy to the patriarchy <laughs> in Greek history, Apollo urinates on the ashes of the temple of God. This was symbolic. And because of this pisser, Apollo, female goddesses became passe in Western civilization. And patriarchal power freaks like Apollo seize control. And this urination, like 3,000 years ago, has stunk up the nations ever since. You get a bunch of dumb fuck men trying to run everything. And, and look what our world is like today. Jesus. To further exercise this wicked haven of bestiality, which offended the Olympian gods and goddesses, and to protect the site from future misuse, Apollo orders the peasants who are like wide-eyed they got a god like right in their little village <laughs> wide-eyed peasants of Dolphe to create a sanctuary in his honor look i swim all the way from crete put my name on that puppy over the fissure and the weird vapor Well, Apollo, he's like swamped with gratitude, you know. The villagers go berserk for this once-in-a-lifetime chance to actually hang out with a Greek god from, you know, uh, a genuine god, and they can pester prophecies from him for free? Oh, a rock star of the Parthian? Parthian? Oh. oh, the Greek god scene, Parthian? Sure. You know what? Uh, Apollo has been a celebrity on Mount Olympus for like <laughs> forever. And he's become expert at throwing off groupies. Mm. He doesn't like to be followed around. It makes him nervous. Humans really get on the nerves of gods like real quick because they're so earthy, rooted. His fa favorite ploy is to seize a crazed local to speak for him and he can just get out of here and uh, while he parties back at Gnosis with Dionysus you know. uh, so distract the human Delphinians without flippers without offending them Apollo seeks the most sumptuous <laughs> virgin 
from the hamlet and installs her as the oracle of Delphi, sponsored by Apollo now? <laughs> 